cane toads have been part of the Australian landscape since the 1930s, and ever since then they have grown more abundant than single mums on Tinder. <laughs> Today, we're going to discuss the green menace. And hey, maybe we'll learn something along the way. Hopefully the lesson we learn is not to introduce highly poisonous reptiles into your homeland. But you never know. They were introduced into Australia around the 1930s and originally came from South America. After some Queensland scientists heard about a bunch of the local cane farmers complaining about the native cane beetle was eating all their crops. So they all came together and decided that seeing as rabbits did so well for the Australian ecosystem, they said, hey, why not bring in several thousand poisonous and rapidly breeding vermin with no natural predators to stop these bugs? Mother fucking genius. Well, as Queenslanders aren't ones to mess around, by 1935, the first load of froggy boys came in from Hawaii and were introduced into the welcoming Queensland wildlife. Everyone cheered, everyone high-fived, everyone drank their 4x by the barrel. All their problems were finally solved. Queensland was once again on the fast track to looking like a tropical Eastern Europe. Except, it wasn't. It seems obvious now. But as our protagonists from up north started to quickly, and by quickly, I mean immediately, realized that getting a bunch of animals who spend half their life on land and the other half in water to wipe out an entire population of flying bugs is about as effective as it was to get Greta Thunberg to convince angry boomers to swap their SUVs for a Prius. Upon further research of the colossal fuck up, that is the introduction of our froggy friends, I found a document that stated the toads had successfully reproduced in captivity and 2,400 were released into the Gordon Vale area. Remarkably, no studies of the potential impact on the environment had been carried out, nor did they even determine whether the toad would actually eat the cane beetles. That's right, they did no research into whether or not these fucking frogs would actually do anything other than fuck and hop around. So these croaky boys spread thick and fast, and with their frog orgy being so successful, they started to spread down the east coast and as far as the west coast of Australia. So what's our government doing now to handle the problem? I bet you're thinking that seeing as it is a massive ecological disaster, that they would have the best minds on the case, right? Well, yes, but actually no. The document I found, it reads, There is unlikely to ever be a broad-scale method available to control cane toads across Australia. Researchers are beginning to understand the toad's impact on native fauna and to appreciate the ways in which native species are adapting to the presence of cane toads. So they're just going to ignore it and hope the problem sorts itself out. This is pretty much the nationwide equivalent of ignoring your check engine light, hoping it'll go away, just with more poisonous reptiles involved. Jokes aside, what are other people doing to control the situation? Well, back in 2005, a man named David Tolina, who was a minister in the Northern Territory at the time, made a public statement asking people to just fucking hit them with golf clubs and cricket bats. He then went on to tell everyone about how he used to shoot them with his air rifle when he was but a wee lad. Ah, good times indeed. Another solution they came up with was to just pretend that they were a native animal and put them as an unofficial mascot for the Queensland State of Origin rugby team. But more on that in a later video. Finally, kids in Townsville now have a new event to mark on their calendar called the Annual Toad Day Out, which consists of school-aged children competing against each other to go into the wild and catch the biggest and most venomous feral toad they can find, with prizes given out to the winners. All in all, ever since these cane toads have blessed us with their presence and gracefully welcomed them into our hellish landscape we call home, we have yet another poisonous creature that has shaped our culture and our landscape. More videos to come with 100% less toad-related content.